Progress in the FAA's efforts to solve the shortage of air traffic controllers. CBS New York investigator Tim McNicholas has been covering staffing concerns and also those close calls at our airports. He has news now of two major steps forward. The Federal Aviation Administration announced Monday it's hired more than 1,800 air traffic controllers this fiscal year. The agency says it's met its 2024 hiring goal as it works to reverse an air traffic controller shortage that's caused concerns for passengers and for some airlines to reduce their number of flights. It is a great news day for the FAA. Linda Tran is a former senior advisor to U.S. Department of Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. She now works in the private private sector. Today is momentous for the administration because it is reversing decades of understaffing that has happened with air traffic controllers and really moving us towards a place where we can build for the future. But the FAA is still facing a shortage that CBS News New York has reported on for months. So the agency also announced they'll accept applications for controller jobs from October 11th to November 4th of this year. The agency typically only has one nationwide application period per year, but the October window will be the second this year. I guess that's a good first step. <laughs> I'm only really concerned about whether they have um, sufficient uh, in place at the right time, uh, given, again, the increase in, in travel demand. Tim joins us now here in studio. So, Tim, the FAA reached its 2024 goal in hiring. Right. What about the following year? Well, they are hoping to hire about 2,000 air traffic controllers in the next fiscal year. Keep in mind, the agency also has to keep up with the number of people retiring. So we've asked, how does that number compare to that 1,800 figure of the people that they hired in the past year? Mm -hmm. They said they won't know until the end of this fiscal year, which is October 1st. So it sounds great. They've hired 1,800. Are they on the job? They're not on the job yet. They're still in training. We've actually reported earlier this year that the FAA has also been partnering with universities, including Vaughn College in Queens. The idea is to streamline and improve the pipeline and the training process for future controllers. Mm -hmm. All right. Catholic, we need it. Still some catching up to do. Yes, sounds. for sure. Tim, thank you. Thank you.